in the boarding house, we actually do four things. And the four things we do are management, 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 and management. Those are the four M's. And what do I mean? In the boarding house, we teach children to manage self. And what do we mean when we say manage self? One of the reasons they, give, they brought the children to boarding house is for them to learn to be independent, learn to be able to take care of themselves. So in the boarding house, we teach them how to manage their space, how to manage their lockers, how to manage their hygiene and all everything that has to do with themselves. The second M has to do with time management. In the boarding house, we have every, everything scheduled already for them. And so everybody, you know this is a time to wake up, this is time to go to school, this is a time to be late. So you must learn to manage your time so you are not late at any event and you are doing the right thing at the right time always because that is what the world will require from them after this place. The third one is they learn to manage the academic. I want to believe that one of the first reasons they sent them to boarding house is to be academically strong. And so in the boarding house, we help them by giving them a scheduled time and then they also have their timetable for their prep. So individually, everybody has a timetable for what I need to study and every time, any time, depending on what the schedule is saying. So they must learn to manage this time well. When do I do my homework? What should I do? How do I finish? And all that. So we teach them to manage their time. And then the last M, we teach them to manage their social life and their emotional life. Very important because if the children are not emotionally well or emotionally balanced, it's going to destabilize every other thing they are doing. And so we teach them, we bring in counselors, bringing people who will speak to them on life issues, life skills, and this will help them to be able to manage their social life, their interactions with their mates, learning to respect other people, manage their space between other people, and also being able to manage their emotions when they are down. That is what made up my four ends of managing children.